Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. When the UFC welterweight champion won his belt, no one knew what to expect from the fighter with the exciting style and unyielding confidence. Yet since that memorable title-winning night, he has successfully defended the belt multiple times, and he shows no signs of slowing down as his next title defense approaches. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Thompson is five years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. From the sold out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of. 27 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Presenting the challenger, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Assassin. Hires you for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Well, this is a venue as long on MMA history as well. Wow!
Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice kick right there. Couple of chins here being tested early. over but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first you've heard us say it before but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight it can have a bigger effect it certainly did here tonight great angle here boom out cold well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the man they are all still chasing at 170 pounds. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion remains as such and does so by way of the knockout here tonight. A great moment for the corner there as you see them start to celebrate. What an opportunity seized by the UFC welterweight king here tonight.